Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We are in chapter 5 of First Thessalonians here, and I've really taken three episodes here to talk about verses 1 through 9 uh, here today, actually 1 through 11, um, where it's talking about uh, the second coming of Christ, okay, or when, when we're raptured. All right. Now, you don't find the word rapture. You're not going to go, ah, oh, here, it says rapture. No, you're not. But it's a concept that um, has been taught by Jesus and, and Paul and so forth. And it's a word we use because that best describes uh, what is happening here. Okay. So, and today I'm going to be reading for, from, uh, I mean, I'm going to get hate mail for two things here today because I'm using the term rapture because it's not in the Bible. And then the second one is because I'm using uh, the New Living Translation or paraphrase um, rather than NIV. But I like the way it says uh, some things in this uh, today. So uh, write me if you want to. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be talking about a rapture and I'm going to be talking about using the New Living uh, paraphrase. Let's read here today from, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 11. I, in the past two days, I've read verses 1 through 8, but I'm going all the way to 11 today. It says this, Now concerning how and when this will happen, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write you. Okay, again, this is a, a way nice, uh, a way nice way to say it. It's a great way to say it. He's saying, I don't have to write you. You already know this, but this is just a, a reminder here, okay? Because Paul spent three weeks teaching and he taught about uh, the end times. For you know quite well that the day of the Lord re Lord's return will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night. When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin, and there will be no escape. But you aren't in the dark about these things dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised when the day of the Lord comes like a thief. For you are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to the darkness and the night. So be on your guard and, as and, and not asleep like the others. Stay alert and clear-headed. Night is when the people sleep and the drunk drinkers get drunk. But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep reading here, though. Verse 9. For God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the key verse right here today. For God chose us to save us through the Lord Jesus Christ. Not to pour out his anger on us. Christ died for us so that whether we are dead or alive, when he returns, we can live with him forever. So encourage each other and build each other up, and just as you are already doing. What I want to talk about here today is this, that, that verse 9 where it says, For God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so there was only one way we could be saved, and that was through Jesus Christ. And it says God chose to save us, and Christ died for our sin, or, you know, died for us, so that whether we're dead or alive when he returns, we can live with him forever. I know that I'm going to live with him forever because Christ chose, or, you know, God chose to send Jesus here. Uh, but it goes on to say he he didn't come to pour out his anger on us. So we sometimes get, get the goofy idea that, you know, God is out to get us, you know, and he's out to pour his anger on us and, and so forth. No, it says here very clearly God chose to save us through the Lord Jesus Christ. So he's given us this option. He, he's cho he chose to save us. It's, it's up to us now whether we want to take that salvation or, or reject it. When we reject it, then his, his wrath comes on us because we're full of sin. Okay. Um, so Jesus has, has died for my sins. I, all I need to do is reach out and, and take that and say, thank you, Lord, for for that forgiveness and take that okay it's it's me receiving it if i choose to go nope 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 don't want any of that free salvation you know that you're offering that you chose to give me then i i'm a man full of sin and my sin needs to be accounted for and that's um the wrath that will come upon me i i chose that okay um, but i chose in my life personally i chose to receive that free salvation and so i, I i'm saved and so, 
Uh, that's that's how it will end uh, here. So you have that you have that free choice uh, here. But the bottom line is God chose to save us. Um, he, he didn't start out with like, let me see what I can do to destroy all these people. No, nope. he said, let me see what I can do to save these people. It's a big thing uh, for us to keep in mind here. Hey, I am a regular dude walking in the word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our study looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Lord's blessing, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.